Hello everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. I hope you guys enjoyed the Big Ships episode, so I had to go with the second one, uh, not a second Big Ships episode because I want to give Tank X69 uh, another shot. Uh, they have been working on some other Big Ships, we'll probably do another big one in the future. I've been seeing some some big builds I'm, I'm keeping my eye on and uh, we might have to look at them down the road. But we're in a different world as you can see and that's because we're doing off-road rides. Uh, there's been a few builds that have been showing up in the workshop and I thought we'd go ahead and check them out. So the first one we have, Desert Racer and this is by R. Pier. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, if you see, watch this video, please let me know if I'm getting this right. But this is, uh, here we go, it's a uh, Eight, eight large wheels, triple suspension, 18 containers. There is our build cost. And here is the build. This is actually a little bit bigger than it looks. And I always have trouble trying to figure out which way the cockpit is on it. Yes, there it is, because it's got the open one. Uh, as you can see, there is air blades, so it does have air support. You get a little bit of a speed boost. It's not the biggest thing, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but as you can see, it can handle just about any type of terrain. So let's find the seat here. Oh, the cockpit. There we go. And I have to zoom out, of course. It is solar powered. I believe it is all entirely solar powered. As you can see, it's got conveyor connectors on the side, so you can connect it to your base if you ever need to. But let's go ahead and take it for a ride. Uh, you do have to be careful. There's a few holes around here. I have been stuck a few times, sadly. But let us go. Zoom out a little bit more. Let's go check it out. I love the way this thing moves around. It's almost like jello, sort of. But it crawls over the things. So one thing I don't like about these big base wheels is they're not exactly the f fastest thing in the world. But of course the air blades do help. And let's see how well it can climb. Uh, supposedly, if this thing is airborne, it will self right itself because of its uh, extremely low center of gravity, center of mass. And let's see if we can make it up. No, we can't, but as you can see, it was trying to reach. Oh, and I rolled it. Uh oh. Come on, I can fix this. Pretty sure I can. <laughs> uh, we'll get it eventually. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we're going the wrong way. And. There we go. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Come on. Just rock it a little bit. Rock it a little bit. I'll get it. Hang on. That didn't go too well. Let's try this again. Oh, there's an unusual lag spike. Considering the fact it's the only thing in the world. I've also noticed too, my uh, survival world is taking an extremely long time to load with this current update. So, yeah, it's the, the octave blocks. Well, let's give this another shot. Definitely goes, you just gotta remember to hold space to keep your speed. Uh, I th don't know if he's got them set to uh, speed or torque. But as you can see, it's definitely a good land crawler. Good at taking out trees, too. Oh, and there's a hole. Let's actually see if we can get through it. Let's see how well this does. Uh, if you're new to Planet Nomads, that was a big thing. That was a bit of a problem for a lot of players. Was these holes, which were bottomless pits that devoured vehicles. And that's where the winch came in to play after the wipes but, oh i'm stuck no i'm not there we go rock's gone we're good to go climb you can do it you can do it oh not quite anyway this is the desert what was it i can't remember what i called it <laughs> uh the desert hang on desert racer and that's by air up here you can uh, check them out in the steam workshop there will also be a link in the description for non-steam users the next one is tractor buggy by the lord uh, it's a light scout vehicle solar powered and uh, yeah hint suspension to keep wheels on the ground 
underground. Uh, it's basically another land crawler, but it has hinge suspension. We'll see that in a minute. We'll do 50 on flat ground. We can tackle most hills without switching wheels to power mode. And from, from my experience, it's not exactly easy to roll. So let's see how this goes. Green switch for main power, blue switch for batteries, and there is the build cost. And there is the tractor buggy. Now when you go and build it, it will stay in a position like this until you get into the cockpit for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what is causing that, but as you can see, you get in and all wheels sit on the ground. So again, it's another off-road vehicle. Uh, articulated suspension gives it, uh, not only gives it a uh, better capability of getting over areas such as this, as you can see it sort of crawls around, but Getting more wheels on the ground also gives you more torque and in some cases more speed. And as you can see, it's you can almost do it, but it's still pretty good. Uh, a little on the top heavy side, so it's pr probably pretty easy to roll. Uh, it would be nice if we did have like articulated steering, like in the middle, for instance. And not quite. Oh, oh, we're gonna roll it. Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep my rollovers to once per video. Uh, let's see if we can get back to some hillier terrain here. Oh, let's get back and actually see where I'm going. Oh, look, a solar panel right in front of us. All right, and up we go. I gotta say, in vehicles like this, there's not much to really see from the. The cockpit, that's always better to go into for third person here. Really well done. Definitely a fun one to go around. Oh, until you roll it. And there I am, stuck on my back like a beetle. And that is the tractor buggy by the Lord. Uh, you can check them out in the Steam Workshop, and there will be a link in the description for non Steam users. Next is the Mountain Goat ATV by Sky Skytails. It's either Skytails or Sidetails. I think it might be Sidetails. But an extremely light ATV for stunt jumps and literally climbing up walls. And this is a, f a fun little guy. Uh, it's a little peppy. Uh, it's prone to rollovers, and we'll see. Cheap, fast, stable, and self rights emitter after a jump. So it's this one that self rights most of the time, in brackets. Uh, you can climb almost any. You can climb almost vertical surfaces even with. Uh, even when underwater without issue with practice you can flip without uh, I've tried to do this it's not the great it uh, wasn't working for me but it could be because the uh, suspension is soft uh, moves and flip uh, yada 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 and there we go it's relatively cheap you can almost build this out of the starter pod if you really wanted to but let's see if I can drive it without making an ass out of myself in front of all the viewers I love the printing sound too, just like the 3D printer you can actually hear it go zzz, zzz, zzz. And there we go, super light, what's the actual weight on this thing? Just over a ton, that's actually pretty good Alright, so let's hop in and let's go for a really crazy ride Super light, I don't know how jump worthy it is, I haven't really tried it, definitely good Definitely a fun little buggy to go booting around in. Oh, until you roll it. Oh, I just broke my rule, but at least this time I got on my got back on my wheels. A really peppy little thing. Let's go for it. I love how he has uh, the seat cockpit too, or the open seat cockpit. Oh, and there we go. And I rolled it. Yes, I had that happen already. Uh, before I before I start the videos, I always load up the builds, just check them out, make sure I actually know what I'm doing, and clearly I do not. Oh, I almost had it. Come on, you can do it. It wants to go. It wants to. But it's easier just to reload the save and build another one. I'm lazy, what can I say? That, I don't want to spend the next 20 minutes trying to struggle on camera trying to write this thing. Alright, that's... We have one more shot, and then I got one last little thing we're gonna investigate. Check out. Oh, yeah. Big jump. Big jump. Nice. They gotta start adding better achievements, like jumping a thousand meters. Or, well, 
I don't think a thousand meters would actually be possible. Uh, yes, I'm driving sideways apparently. And I am stuck. Of course. Of course. But it's almost light enough where... Maybe that's not what I want to do. I want to get on here. You can almost jump on it and push it over. That's what I was trying to do before. I ended up having to really dig out the ground a little bit. It doesn't need much. A little bit there, a little bit there. One shot there and right there. And there we go. Geez, you'd think I've done this before, huh? Yes, I have rolled a few vehicles in my time. Oh my god, this is super fast. Let's get into first person here. So fast, it's actually getting laggy. But there we go, we have the Mountain Goat ATV by Sightails. Uh, you can check them out in the Steam Workshop. There will be a link in the description for non-Steam users. And to end the episode, since we're going with off-road off rides, what better way to end it with it is with a monster truck. Uh, so Hack Wheel has created a Bigfoot monster truck replica. Uh, and there we go. I first tried to make a Bigfoot monster truck. In this game, not much practical use, more for fun. And it is more for fun. Uh, I'll admit that, but there you go. There's the specs on it and the building cost. And here it is. And there we go. Now, as you can see, yes, it is a little on top heavy side. So this is one of the issues I've had with this this particular vehicle. Uh, again, we got to get into the roof. It'd be, it'd be nice if we had bigger openings in the side so we could actually reach in here. And come in from the side of the roof like you do with a normal monster truck. But there we go. As you can see, I'm trying to get a little bit of work into the details. There's only so much you can do with the blocks that we have. And off we go. Well, we do have to have the wheels set the torque, I believe, because it is a little on the heavy side. Ah, there we go. We have Bigfoot. Uh, where was the switch for the lights? Oh, yeah, the switch for the lights is in the back. So let's go turn the let's go turn the headlights on. There we go. And there we go. Now that's a monster truck. Nice big fog lights to blind you in your rear view mirror while you're trying to drive. All right, let's see what we can do. This thing can do on a hill. It's a little slow. Like I said, it's a little heavy. Could use some dualies in the back. That might actually help. I don't think we're gonna make this jump. Let's see if I can actually get this down this without crashing it. Or roll in it. We don't have crashing yet, and thank God, because everything I build would be in pieces. Oh, I'm stuck. Yes, I am. I am. I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Oh, third time's a charm. That's the third rollover I've done this video. But we won't talk about that one. Let's give this a shot. Let's see if I actually get through the window. Oh, oh my keyboard's stuck. My space key. I gotta clean my keyboard by the parent by the looks of it. Come on, there we go. I got out and I got back in. Yes. Uh, I was able to clean this around my computer. My keyboard definitely gets crumbed up. But let's go up this way at this time. Let's see what we can do. We can take out a tree, of course, because this is a beast. It's a monster truck, of course. Yeah, it's not the fastest. But seeing how this is a monster truck, let's see if we can jump over some cars with it. All right, so I just made a couple little mock-up rovers there. I uh, didn't want to use anybody's builds for, you know, respectful purposes. But let's see what this thing can do. All right, come on, come on, let's do it. That wasn't big enough. Not quite. Needs more speed. Needs more power. But there we have it. That is the the Bigfoot monster truck by Sahak Wheel. Uh, you can check them out in the Steam Workshop. There will also be also be a link in the description down below for non-Steam users. And there we have it.
a nice selection of off-road vehicles showing the limitless possibilities that it is Planet Nomads. Uh, hope you all guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, don't forget to swing by the Steam Workshop. Uh, check out these guys' builds. Uh, give them a big thumbs up. Leave a, leave a good comment and enjoy their builds. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.